I'm going to finish up the core reviewer interface by talking about our related items pane, where we can put the different relational groupings about a record. Right now, I'm showing the family grouping to this record, so I have the original email here with the attachments to that email. I can see the Excel doc, the PowerPoint, the Word doc in Korean, and the document that had those track changes. Maybe I don't have those propagation rules for family groups turned on, but I know that all of these records are responsive. What I can do is take a mass action on these six here, edit them, and then I can make a mass action determination here. I tag them all as responsive. Then I'd hit save. Here we have our duplicate information, and this table of data is fully customizable. Right now, we're showing control number and location, but instead of location, maybe we could change it to show the privilege designation, because we want to do a quick QC of how duplicates of privileged documents are being coded in the system. We can also view the similar document information, and that's whether we're using similar document detection that's built into relativity and powered by the analytics engine, or if we've processed the data through another tool prior to bringing it into relativity. Relativity keeps a full audit history of every user action in the system, whether records are viewed, updated, who did it, when they did it, how they did it, was it one of the propagation rules we talked about, or did they directly edit the record. I can click details to take a look. I can export this, the full audit history of the record, or I can filter down on it. Maybe I'm only interested in the updates to this record. So I can see every update that happened to this record. As a side note, all things that we audit can be reported on, so whether you want to see how far we are into the review, based on responsiveness designations or productivity reports, to understand how many documents per hour or edits per hour our reviewers are making, all of that can be run in relativity inside of the application. Finally, circling back, we also have the full production history, so I can see all the productions that AS01 was associated with, the dates they were produced, the beginning and ending dates, and I can kick this out to Excel if I want. Maybe I want to look and see how it actually looked when it went out as part of the Acme production. I can see that it went out in September of 2008, so what I'm going to do is go up to my Productions radio button and get a quick look at it. Looks like it was stamped as confidential in there, and I can see the redactions on it. Maybe I'm curious what this record looked like in the Chicago production that was almost a year later in June of 2009. Let's take a quick look at that by clicking on the Chicago production from the dropdown, and we can see it looks pretty different. Different redactions, Looks like it wasn't confidential then. So that's a quick and easy way to view all the various productions and see the differences between them without having to look through different databases or having to have a convoluted workflow. Any questions about anything in our native file viewer? I'm gonna jump out of the native file viewer and talk about browsing, hit some workflow, and then we'll go into searching. We give you a few different ways to browse through records in relativity with what we call folders, the field tree, and advanced and save searches. We can also browse by clusters, which is part of the Relativity Analytics feature set. I'm going to start here with case folders. These are a little bit different than what you may be used to in other applications in that it's not a metaphor for the tagging and coding structure, but actually the physical location of the records in the system, akin to your Outlook or Windows Explorer, a metaphor that's very familiar to people. We have a few high-level folders here that we've set up. Paylock here indicates that it's securable, so I can secure these folders. I have one here for file servers, organized by city and share. For custodians, we have this custodian, John Arnold. Maybe I have some loose files, something lying around his desk. For email, we've actually preserved the original mailbox structure of John Arnold's original Outlook or Lotus Notes, whichever he was using. So I have his mailbox structure here, and if he was involved in a matter pertaining to Compact, for instance, I could come in, click on the Compact folder, and see exactly what he was storing in there. This gives me a very intuitive way to browse through records, and in terms of how we set this up, relativity can map to any piece of metadata and load file. So in this case, we map to the file path information, and we have the file path automatically recreated based on that. Another popular way our clients are using this is maybe this was an original paper-based collection and these documents were coded on the box level. So maybe we want to recreate the box structure. Other than that, we can just right click and create the folder structure as we find fit. So that's the case folders. The field tree is actually a metaphor for the tagging and coding structure and that way is very intuitive as well. So for instance, maybe I can see something that's been tagged as a part of someone's deposition kit. Here's Elliot's. It looks like there's five records in his depot kit. Or maybe I'd like to see what's been tagged as privileged thus far. It looks like we have 49 records tagged as privilege. So as documents are tagged in the system, the next time I click on this, they're gonna be instantly returned. So that's the field tree. Now I'm gonna hide the browser. I'll give us some full screen real estate as we talk about our workflow and touch on reporting. So we're looking at a little over 74,000 documents, and this is the whole database, the Enron database. 
While the 74,000 documents we have here is certainly a healthy sized database, the largest case in relativity has over 93 million records with hundreds of users in on that single database. They're tiffing, redacting, tweaking out layouts, workflows, and do